Welcome to Feel Good TV. Joining me today, I have the CEO of the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers, Adam Jacobs. So welcome, Adam. Thanks for having me, Joey. It's great to have you here at Feel Good TV. Now, today we're going to be talking about education in the fitness industry. Now, the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers provides a variety of courses. First of all, start off by giving us a bit of a rundown about what exactly AIPT is. Yeah, sure. So AIPT is a fitness education business. We've been around since 1999. Our big point of difference is uh, the fact that we deliver in working gyms and not in classrooms. We have a heavy focus on practical education, um, I guess with the goal to get students industry ready at graduation. And what we do is we provide a range of short courses. Our standard flagship Cert 3 and Cert 4 in fitness, which is how you become qualified as a personal trainer. But we also have a whole bunch of short courses and diplomas on scope as well. I really like the fact that your courses are very heavily involved with the practical component because, you know, a personal training career is all about practical, getting out there, hands-on, helping people change lives, be healthier. How many hours roughly is involved in a Cert 3 or Cert 4 course for trainers to feel really confident when they get out in the industry? Well, uh, typically, I mean, there's 100 to 150 just of the theory component, but, but, but that's not the component that will really get them industry ready. It's the practical hands-on component, working in a real gym in front of real clients with the employers of the industry being their educators, which is how we're set up. So we have, in the year-long qualification, eight weeks of pure practical, which is placed in the gym. Um, you know, we, we really believe that the, the more amount of practical you can offer a student in a real-life context, the better it will be to get them industry ready. So what gym do they go to or do you place them in a gym for their practical experience? We have 96 campuses around Australia and 96 campuses range from uh, partners such as Good Life Health Clubs, Genesis Fitness Clubs, Club Group which uh, dominate the ACT to a range of independents right across Australia. So we're talking about from the west coast in Western Australia all the way through to uh, Tasmania up in Darwin. So basically we have a campus in a location near you. Wow, so you're Australia wide. There's a huge variety of campuses there to choose from to find one that's close to you. Now with the, let's say, theory component of it, is that actually taken part in the campus as well or online? How does that work? No, the theory is done online in their own time. What's done at the campus is purely the practical, which in my opinion is obviously the most exciting because that's what we're all here for, you know, getting up and about and, and uh, working with real clients and, and being involved in industry. Um, but no, the theory component is done online in your own time because we also acknowledge that a lot of people who join us have full-time jobs and they're looking for a career change. So they have to do part of it online, but then they join the practical at an appropriate time. Okay, so it all sounds great. You know, when you're running yourself through a program such as the Cert 3 or Cert 4 and you're doing practical component as well as theory, sometimes you might get a little bit stuck on questions and you feel like you need a little bit of help and when you're doing an online program, you might be like, I'm all alone, what do I do? How do you help someone in that situation with the course that you provide? So something that we're very proud of our largest team at AIPT is our education team, not our sales team. So we have you know, 15 people at head office who are available on the phone or via email to help you at any stage if you do get stuck on a particular question. But the other benefit of what we do is when you're in that gym environment during the practical, you can pick the brains of our educators who are all operational, they're all personal trainers, they're all gym owners, they're current, they have experience. So if, for example, you're looking at some new trend in the industry, they would typically know about it and it wouldn't be a lecturer who hasn't stepped foot in the fitness industry industry or in a gym in the last 20 years, anything that's current, our educators can typically help you with. Okay, so your educators are actually part of the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers at the campuses throughout Australia that you provide. Do you work closely with your educators to help them keep up with the fitness trends? Absolutely. I mean, we're always offering professional development to our educators, but they're also doing it themselves. Remember, every one of our educators is, is a gym owner, a fitness professional, who have to keep up their currency in the industry. So whilst we offer a whole bunch of short courses which keeps them current, I mean, they're also out in the industry trying to find out what the latest trends are as well. So it's not like we're just hoping a lecturer um, who, you know, used to own a fitness centre 20 years ago is remaining current. They have to because they're running gyms at the same time. So yes, to answer your question, we do help them and we do offer ongoing professional development right throughout the year, but they do their own professional development which complements what we do.
Great. Now, we know that in the fitness industry, once you graduate with a certificate three or four, you actually need to keep your qualifications current, right? Now, at the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers, you have ongoing education courses that you provide uh, so that if somebody does graduate from you, they can come back and learn more, right? Spot on. So any personal trainer needs to have 20 CEC points achieved in, two, in a two-year period. So I'll give you an example. I mean, we're here today at Firelex, and if you come to Firelex, you get 15 CECs. Um, I'd like it to be more around the educations. Hopefully, they're going to the lectures to achieve that. But we offer short courses, which all have a number of CEC points um, attached to them. So yes, we offer those short courses to allow them to maintain currency in the industry. And you mentioned before, I think, talking about diplomas. That's another side of it. Um, it's not CEC. Um, uh, there's not a CSC focus around that. That's more around uh, other ongoing education to further their understanding of things like business or to be um, aligned with allied health professionals. All right, so let's talk business for a minute because, you know, if you come out and you graduate as a personal trainer, you have a choice. You can either go and work in a studio or a gym. And I mean, it's an amazing opportunity if you've already done your practical experience in a gym to perhaps even continue in that environment. But what if you're a trainer who decides you've got that entrepreneurship in you and you wanna go off and start your own business? How are they gonna know where to go next or what to do? Okay, so every single one of our deliverers or our educators are typically business owners themselves. So what I mean by that is they could be the owner of a business themselves or they could be, when I say owner of a business, they could be an owner of a gym or they could be a personal trainer and personal trainers have ABNs and they run their own businesses as well. So the benefit of what we do is throughout the education, the students have the ability to not only talk about fitness, anatomy and physiology, but they also get to talk about running a business because they're learning from people who are successful business owners. There isn't one educator or campus that we have in our program that's a poor operator. All of them are the best in the industry and we go out hunting for the best because we want to use that knowledge to uh, create, I guess, a, a new type of person trainer who in turn are the most prepared to enter the industry. So that's that's a quite an advantage to have you know at your fingertips a business owner that you can ask advice for, for uh, sorry advice from who is your educator that you've been working with throughout your time of you're being studying. There's one other benefit on top of that. Um, all of our educators are looking for good quality staff. They're all the employers of the industry. So they're going to train you up in a manner that will get you as ready as possible to be, I guess, hireable. So if you're, if you're extremely qualified and you've been delivered to in a manner where they want to see you industry ready, I mean, that's the benefit. And then a lot of them, you know, a lot of our facilities offer an employment guarantee. They are so confident in the course that we offer and their ability to train up our students in, in the most employable manner that they will say if you come through us and you satisfy um, I guess certain requirements we guarantee you a job at the end of the qualification. Well that's huge guarantee you a job whilst you know you've actually come through they've seen you they've seen you grow and your experience and so forth. Now let's talk more about where the fitness industry is going in your opinion and what do you see in regards to helping more trainers become more educated? I think the future of the industry is technology, especially from an educational standpoint. So the more that you can stay on the bleeding edge of technology, the better you'll be off as, a, I guess, an educator in the industry. Um, we, we consider ourselves to be a, an R&D lab and an innovation centre. We're always thinking about the next step when it comes to uh, technology and education. So that's one direction, I guess, the industry is going in, in, in a, um, I guess, an educational context. But uh, in terms of what's happening in the general industry, you know, I think the 24-7 boom, it's here and it's here to stay. You're going to see the introduction of a lot of low cost providers. People are coming from overseas, potentially the states and entering, so more budget models. But it's quite an interesting journey because what we're seeing, and I know we're digressing a little bit, is you've got all of these 24-7 um, clubs and then they're competing very heavily with one another. So what happens is they add another service and another service and another service to compete and then you go in a full cir circle. So what do you get? You go from a 24-7 budget model to a full service club again, so it's quite cyclical. So it seems that you've got that sound knowledge of fitness trends and what's coming up in the industry, but what I really want to know, Adam, is how does somebody decide, first of all, when they know they want to become a trainer, how do they decide what provider to choose to start their education and course? 
Well, there are a number of factors that go into a decision. Um, we say, from our perspective, do your research. We are so confident in our course that we are happy for you to chat to every other provider out there and we feel that our point of difference will end up bringing you back. My recommendation to anyone is do your research. Everyone has a budget, but in the end, what are you paying for? You're not paying for a piece of paper, you're paying for outcomes. And we have employment guarantees. Our graduation rate is the highest in the industry. You know, our educators are the employers of the industry. You have the, the highest levels of practical education. We wouldn't have 96 different campuses partnering with us who are all independent gyms, gyms or clubs unless they felt that our qualification was the best in the industry because it satisfies the needs of the industry. But coming back to your question, you've got to determine what are your needs. Do you need flexible work? hours? Do you have a particular budget? Do you want to be employed at the end of it? So determine what you want to do, go do your research and we're pretty comf you know, confident that you end up coming back and talking to us anyway. So Adam, as you know, I'm actually completing my Cert 3 and Cert 4 with the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers at the moment and I'm really enjoying the course. I think it's great. But the reason why I'm actually doing the course is because I've been in the industry for a while. I'm quite inspired by people around me and have worked a lot with people on their health and wellness and I've just actually doing it for more personal development again and you know, sharpening up my knowledge as well. But tell me, why else do people come to you to do the course? Firstly, I love the fact that you're doing your course with us, so that's great. But yeah, you're right, people come People come to um, do a qualification for a number of different reasons. They could have had a life-changing experience in terms of fitness themselves, and then the, what they want to do is impart that knowledge or experience onto others. So they want to change people's lives, or they want a bit more flexibility in their work hours. So what they end up doing is they're stuck in investment banking for 14 hours a day, you know, six days a week. I'm speaking from experience, and they want to uh, be able to get out of that type of lifestyle and live a much more flexible lifestyle, which is more fulfilling. So what they want to do is they want to change people's lives in terms of health and fitness and not just make them wealthy or things like that. Um, you're, you can be your own boss, you can have a variety of working environments. So it's not just working outdoors or indoors, you can work on cruise ships, you can end up becoming a business owner. So there are so many different reasons that people uh, might get out of what they do or join the fitness industry and we find a big one is exactly what you just said, just to improve their knowledge in an area that they have a passion about. Yeah, I like the fact that you have mentioned that really when you graduate from a personal training course, like a certificate three, certificate four, it can really take you to so many places, like on a cruise ship. I mean, how much fun would that be to be traveling the world and doing what you love? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I would love to work on a cruise ship 24-7. That sounds like a great opportunity. But um, yeah, look, doing what you love is key. I think with whatever you do, you have to be passionate. And that's the best thing about our industry. People who do this genuinely care about what they do. You have so many desk jobs where you see people sitting there and they just don't want to be there. They're looking around, they want to be elsewhere. You know, I truly believe um, that this fitness industry is full of people who have passion. Unfortunately, some people do get tired after a while but there are so many aspects of this industry that reinvigorates them and that's what I love it's such an evolving industry that there's always something that can spark up your attention and get you motivated again and that's the best thing about this industry it's just full of passionate people who care about the outcomes of the people they work with. So Adam just sitting here today chatting to you about this wonderful Australian Institute of Personal Trainers has really inspired me to complete my course as well but also to you know get out there and have that further education and you know live that passion that's the most important thing. No, that's great. I mean, if you're inspired to finish the course, maybe we can swap. I'll take the microphone and I'll go out on the road <laughs> and then you can look after AIPT for a little bit. But uh, I'm pleased our conversation has, um, has brought you along because even if you don't use that qualification to help other people, that knowledge will be with you for life and it's, it's such a benefit to, to be able to understand more about any other field which you have a passion about. Exactly. And uh, if anybody wants, you know, more information about the Australian Institute of Personal Trainers and also the, obviously the courses and the continuing education and the certificate three and four that you do provide, where can they find that? The best is our website, which is www.aipt.com.au. Get on the website. We've got information there about all of our courses, but give us a call, speak to someone. We'll be happy to talk you through it and hopefully we'll find a home for you at AIPT.
Excellent. I know when I made my first call to speak to you guys, you were so friendly and so helpful. Um, and it, it just feels like a really great community that you've got going on there um, with both, like you said, you know, the support over the phone throughout the course, as well as having your educator at the campus too. So thanks a lot, Adam, for your time. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you again sometime soon. Thanks, Joey. Looking forward to it.